Dijai has released the new Dijai Avatar this season at Fury Drone, so we are going to check it out and I'll be doing like a quick comparison between the Dijai but first let us see what the DJI avatar has to offer so it's lightweight and very compact and it allows you to have some immersive flight we'll talk about the goggles later it has integrated propeller protection which is a plus compared to the DJI FPV it's twice lighter because it's about 410 grams compared to the DJI which was almost 800 grams the size is smaller so I think it's a plus because it's easier to transport it the sensor is a little bit bigger so i think it will allow us to have some better dynamic range the aperture doesn't change like the video capacities are the same we still got 4k at 60 fps it's too bad because a lot of people were waiting some upgrade on the dji fpv about the frame per seconds you know the frame rate and we all wish that they had put that 30 fps and 24 fps on this new drone but i don't know why it's not there maybe we just need to wait a little bit for some update and i hope that they will listen to their customers i don't know what's the effect of the increase of megapixels because i don't intend to take pictures with it and don't let it fool you it has four times more megapixels than the DJI FPV but when you do that pixels are four times smaller as well which can increase the noise if you fly in low light the FOV is much wider I'm not going to talk about the motion controller because this is not something I've tested and I don't care about it the DJI FPV had the rock steady stabilization but this one has the horizon steady and the rock steady stabilization the horizon steady allows you to keep the horizon line horizontal i've heard that with the dji goggles to the signal penetration is really really improved compared to the goggles i have the goggles v2 and uh, i've heard that the quality and i've checked in several videos that the video transmission is much better like it's a much better quality inside of the goggles one thing i really like about it is that it has some internal storage and it's a good thing just in case for example let's say that you are going to fly you forgot to stick your sd card into it they talk about the hovering time like the maximum hovering time but who buys a fpv drone to let it over okay here is what you have in the package not going to give uh, details about it as there is nothing to say about it you'll get some extra props with one smart flight battery here is the dj avatar with the rc not included so it cost in europe 579 euros okay you have different packs the dj avatar pro view bundle you have the dj goggles 2 the newest dj goggles the DJI motion controller, which I'm not going to talk about. And you have the second pack. The only difference between this one and this one, I mean, between the DJI Avatar Pro View Bundle and the DJI Avatar Flight Smart Bundle is instead of getting the latest DJI goggles, the goggles too, you get the goggles that were released one year and a half ago. You have the ability to get some uh, fly more combo, some extra smart battery, the goggles backpack and some portable charger. But this is not where I wanted to insist. So there are two cases. For example, let's say that you want to start flying FPV drones, but you don't have, you currently have like no FPV drones so far. I think that the DJI Avatar is better deal but do what you gotta do to get a hold of a remote controller because that motion controller you only be able to fly in normal and spark mode i think this is the best way to start flying those fpv drones because you get protection or bumpers it has i think it has the design of what we call a cine whoop fpv drone but it's not the same because on cine whoops those protections are much thicker and bigger and these are not ducks uh, I think they are just called power protections and I think the advantage of the DJI Avatar over the old DJI FPV is that you are able to fly in areas where you would not dare to go with the DJI FPV because you know that as soon as the prop hits some branches and stuff your DJI FPV is on the ground so you'll be able to take more risks with the DJI Avatar it's easier to transport it has integrated memory so so 
I think this DJI avatar is a much better deal. What I'm talking about now is if you don't have any FPV drone. What if you already have the DJI FPV quad? I think the DJI avatar is going to complement this DJI FPV because I think you could be in trouble with the DJI avatar when it's windy. It has its pros because you're able to sneak into like forests and take more risks. Okay. But if you're flying in a windy environment, I think it could be very limited so if you have the dji fpv keep it because i do not think they have the same use the dji avatar maybe should have been released before the dji fpv but i think they are not the same drones it's been released by dji fpv to complement what the dji fpv could not do i think the dji avatar solves one problem the dji fpv was too fragile as soon as you hit the ground i've been i mean i've crashed it myself a few weeks ago it's super dry with the dji avatar if i had it i think i would take more risks and if i take more risks the way i fly would change because with the dji fpv there are a lot of things that i would have liked to try but as it's not a carbon fiber quad there are a lot of things that i've dared to try in the liftoff simulator but not in real life which is kind of frustrating i don't know yet if I'm going to buy the DJI Avatar, but if I get a hold of this one, I think my flying capabilities are going to increase because I'll take more risks. That's all I had for today. I don't know yet if I'm going to buy it. I'm still thinking about it, but I think this is a good deal. But do what you got to do to get a hold of a remote controller. Martian controller is just a gimmick. You don't buy that type of drone just to fly in normal mode in sport mode. If you want to do that, buy a Mavic. Cheers.